Hi, this is Jake from Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to add indicators to your charts and how to manage them once you have added them. So now if you aren't already familiar with it, indicators are called studies on this platform. If you'd like to take a look at the available studies on this platform, you can do so in the overall study menu up here in the top left hand corner. This pretty much gives a breakdown of every single study or indicator available on this platform. And as you can see, you can break it down and filter based off all the different available studies that they have available. Now, instead of going through each different filter here, you can actually click on the add study option. This is also, you can use or access this by clicking control T on your keyboard. You'll notice once you click that, it does bring up the add study window. Here you can actually break down your search even more. So if you wanted to, you can just type in the study of your choice. So for example, ATR, this will give everything with the average true range available on this platform. You could look at maybe AD. There you go, you have the ADX line. We can type in BOLL for Bollinger Bands. There's a ton of different options here. As you can see, you can uh, also filter based off of overlays and signals as well. So again, you can scroll through this click and highlight the indicator of the study you'd like to add to your chart and then click OK. Clicking OK will now bring up the specific settings for this study and every single study on this platform does has have its own set of settings in there. So we have an input method so we can input this on the open, high, low, close, midpoint, typical price, weighted price, volume or the VMA. You have your method. So again, you have a ton of different options here in which you can select. Then as far as period types, you can adjust all the different periods within the chart. So you can either manually type in and delete the input setting already there. You can adjust using the up or down arrows. You have shift settings you can customize. And then as far as aesthetic purposes, you do have colors on here. So for example, for Bollinger Gurr bands, you can customize the colors of the different bands the middle lines, fill colors, the width, the type of line. Then we have advanced settings. So again, you have some more colors here. Again, for things or for signals, if they do apply to your indicator, you're going to want to enable those here and then adjust as you needed. So as you can see, you can create alert signals for here. You can use sounds. You can even customize a sound file, email alerts, you just input your email address and go from there. So we'll actually disable that for now. And then as you can see for options, we can adjust it based off a of price graph. We can have the visibility at specific times. If you want to make it only visible when your chart is greater than or equal to a specific bar size or a specific time, as you can see, there's a ton of different options here. So once you have everything set up, and of course you will need to go through and configure this as you'd like. Each trader does have their own method and uses their own indicators with their own settings. So I'm just gonna apply the general Bollinger Band indicator here. Once we're ready, we can click on create. And as you can see, it now adds it to our chart. So if you notice, if I do click on them, it does highlight that uh, indicator there, my Bollinger Band. It makes it pop out a little bit more. This actually shows that it is highlighted and is currently the active indicator. You can also take a look in the very top left here. If you'll notice where my mouse is currently hovering over, I do have this highlighted as well. I can actually manipulate my indicators here and manage them. If it is highlighted, as you see, the BB is highlighted. That represents my indicator there. I can right click. Then I have the options again to manipulate it. So I can make this visible as you did see within the settings. I can make this visible on specific intervals, specific time intervals, um, specific price action. If I determine that in my settings, I do have a legend for this. I can edit this and go back to my settings if I'd like, or I can just simply delete from here. If you want to, you can also hide that component so it just won't be visible. If you'll notice it is still hidden and if I go ahead and right click on that area again, I can reactivate that. So it is still there in the top left. You just again need to right click and then show hide component and it'll reactivate that. So let's go ahead and delete this and let's do this again. 
So we just showed you through the actual study submenu there. If you want, and excuse me, I accidentally just minimized the platform, you can actually right click on your chart and go through this method as well. So if you right click, open up the context menu, you'll notice this is pretty much the same sub menu that we saw on the top of left there, the platform. Again, you can either go through the add study section, which will bring up this window, or you can just go through the different filters here and choose based off of one of these. So let's say we want to add the exponential moving average. We'll pretty much just click on that. Again, as you saw before, it'll bring up the settings menu for this particular indicator or study. Select the colors you'd like to add, the input, the different periods you want it based off of. Set up your advanced settings if needed. So for this particular indicator, we need to set up bar colors. Set up signals if you want to enable these. And then finally, you do have your options and you can set vis visibility options, bar sizes, things of that nature. Again, once you have everything set up, you click on create and it'll add it to our charts. Finally, if you want, again, you can just right click in the top left there of the chart. This will always show all the indicators you have added. And just to show you, you can work with multiple indicators. So let's say, for example, we wanted to add a RSI bar pattern. We'll add that there. As you can see, it changes up our charts. Now we have two indicators and you can select. We actually technically have three because there is volume on our chart. So you can select amongst the three different indicators here. As you can see, depending on which one is clicked, it will highlight that specific indicator on your chart. Again, you can right click, either show a legend, edit, delete, hide the component, format it differently, or change the visibility on it. And then we can just delete or choose from one of the available options on the indicator manipulation tool. Other than that, that just about covers it for this video. If you do have any other questions on the available indicators on this platform, how to manipulate them or just how to add them, please post in the comment section below. And if you do have any particular features you're looking forward to, you can request them down in the description or the comment section below as well. In the description, we do have our community form link. So if you are interested in asking more detailed questions not related to this video, or anything else on your mind, feel free to ask them there and easily sign up for an account. Finally, if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more MotiveWave content, content about trading psychology and much more. Once again, we hope you found this video helpful and thanks for watching.